Hello, everybody. Welcome to Talk Emporium. <clears throat> Excuse me. This episode, episode Trace, is about family brunch. I was supposed to do it, I tried to do it on Sunday, but it didn't work out too well. I tried to do a new thing using the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Facebook Rooms. And you should probably work with something prior to doing that so you know what you're doing. Not, not this genius right here, no. So it didn't work out too well. And I think it was a trifecta of stuff, you know, where it was me not really knowing how to use the, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> Facebook Rooms. And the fact that it was Sunday and it was late on Sunday, you know, people don't want to talk to you on Sunday. They want to rest. And so I decided after that lead balloon went over that I would just do a recording, record the shows, post them on YouTube, post them on Facebook, post a link in uh, Instagram, TikTok, What's the other one? Twitter. And then that way, everybody could see it. Everybody could have the gift of gab. Ooh, hold on. I am, of course, in an undisclosed location. In my car. <clears throat> um... But like I said, this is Talk Emporium. The uh, idea for this podcast is to to get people having conversations again. To get, you know, people talking. Because I feel like the communication has just been smashed to smithereens and nobody communicates anymore about anything, really. <clears throat> Excuse me, goodness gracious. No, COVID, you cannot have me back. I got away from you. Stay away from me. Uh, so, the lighting is not too good on this, I know, but it's the best I could do. And <coughs> as I lose my train of thought, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I'm going to do one thing, though. Hang on. I had them down for just a minute. <coughs> Stay. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm going to take it off. Look at there. Okay. Now. Now we're comfy. Uh, but anyway, that's what the premise for the Talk Emporium podcast is. To get people talking about anything and everything under the universe, in the universe, around the universe, beyond the universe. <clears throat> Pardon? To infinity and beyond. Let's talk about it. Um... Family brunch. That's what this one's supposed to be about. <sighs> As you can tell, I'm a little crazy. And I lose my train of thought a lot. And I'm sorry. But here we go. <clears throat> uh, the family brunch idea came to me because... Um, I was... Thinking about what I could do for this next... Uh, episode and um, we had planned for our family brunch on Sunday Sunday morning and so I thought hey there we go that fits kind of in with last week's episode which was about fun things to do in 2022 that don't cost a whole lot of money and that kind of thing and that is kind of a fun thing to do I mean I know 
stuff costs a lot more nowadays, especially with COVID and all that kind of crud. Ugh. But, <clears throat> excuse me again. Every time. Every time I start to do a video. Mm -hmm. I'm allergic. No. <clears throat> excuse me. But, it kind of went with that theme. And so, um, I thought that would be a good subject to start out with for this video. Again, if you're new to the podcast, if you're new to the YouTube page, if you see this on YouTube, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Uh, you can always drop comments uh, there on YouTube. You can drop comments on Facebook. When I post it on Facebook, you can drop your comments. In the comments, you can tell me, you know, if there's something you'd like to talk about, something you'd something you like about the show, something you don't like about the show. I'm up for con constructive criticism. Constructive criticism. <clears throat> but I, I don't want, you know, if you don't got something constructive to say, just don't say it, okay? Please. But that's what you can do. Um, or if you want, you can shoot an email to talkemporium22 at gmail.com. Talkemporium22 at gmail.com. That's talkemporium22 at gmail.com. That's the email where you can send uh, in your comments, your suggestions. Um, and please, again, let's, let's keep this kind of... Kind of rational, all right? Don't don't get too vulgar. Or vulgar at all, if you can help it. Please. <clears throat> Pardon. But like I've said before, life isn't scripted, so... You know, I know sometimes things happen. Sometimes words are said that you really didn't mean to say, but you said them anyway. Anyway. This week, <clears throat> excuse me, one more stinking time. I got a frog in my throat and he won't come out. Get out of there, Kermit! <clears throat> there we go. Maybe. Um, the uh, family brunch. Now, for anybody that's on here that's young and doesn't understand what brunch is, I know, you know, I'm not the sharpest stack in the box either. We we all have been there once. You know, something so simple and you're like, what does that mean? Oh, and COVID fog, it's real, y'all. It will, it will make you stupid. COVID makes you stupid. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. <clears throat> I mean, there was a week when I had COVID that I thought we just completely skipped Wednesday. It was completely dropped off the calendar or whatever. Mm-hmm. Thought we went straight from Tuesday to Thursday. And I was like, what happened to Wednesday? What? And I got family members telling me, what are you talking about? Yesterday was Wednesday. You were here. You did this. I'm like, oh. Stupid COVID. If it was a person, I'd punch it in the face. So anyway, getting on with the subject at hand. Brunch is just basically where you have a late breakfast, early lunch. Same time, brunch. <clears throat> For anybody that didn't understand what that was, which, you know, like I said, I put myself in the same category. I There's things like that that I'm like, what? what you? And then I, it dawns on me and I'm like, oh, I'm stupid. Stupid COVID. Make me stupid. Anyway, the family brunch... <clears throat> My mother had decided, after talking to my sister, who was telling her she wanted, uh, was craving some of her homemade biscuits and gravy, that she would do a family brunch on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. And we'd have everybody come over and have like a little family get together. <clears throat> Goodness gracious, I'm sorry, y'all. But... What we did is, um, you know, my mom, she, she's not feeling too good right now, but she's a machine sometimes. And I'm like, 
just, just stop. Just sit down. Just let it go. Don't worry about it. But she can't. But she had gotten all the food together. And I, my contribution was I was helping her make the gravy. Now, I've made gravy before, and it's been pretty good. I've been really good at making the gravy. But for some reason, I don't know whether it was because I was doing two batches instead of just one. It, my gravy was lacking this time, and I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. To my family, I am sorry. It was edible and everything. Tasted all right, but it just it wasn't very gravy. <clears throat> but my mom was knocking it out of the park, man. She had so a pan of sausage ready to go. Put it in. Had it going. While it was going, she was making uh, a batch of buttermilk biscuits. Buttermilk biscuits, y'all. Oh, yes. Then when the uh, sausage was done, she put that batch of biscuits in. Then she had got a batch of bacon ready. When... <clears throat> the first batch of biscuits was done. She put the batch of bacon in. Then she started another batch of biscuits. When the first batch of bacon was done, she put in the next batch of biscuits and got another batch of bacon ready to go. So that by the time she was done cooking at like 9.30, 9.40 that morning, we had a big uh, crock pot of gravy my fiasco gravy. I'm so sorry again. Uh, big pan of eggs, scrambled eggs. Big batch of sausage, big batch of bacon, and a huge batch of buttermilk biscuits. We also had some strawberries and grapes, mixed fruit. So that was good. It was good. It was a big, you know, a lot of food, a lot of people. <clears throat> We had, of course, coffee to drink for the adults and what have you. And we had hot chocolate and for the kids and that kind of stuff. And milk and uh, our tea and water and that kind of thing. And I think there was some Coke. I don't, I don't even know. We had a whole bunch of stuff. Food galore. But what made it so awesome, I mean, other than the fact that my mom is awesome, you know, she cooked all that, did all that work and everything, even though she didn't really feel too good, she, she knocked it out, and by the time 10 o'clock got around, first round of us sit down, who, you know, everybody that was there sit down, had some food, conversation, of course, and then by the time we got done eating, then the next, then there were some more people coming in, so we just got up and switched out seats and let them sit down at the table to eat. And we went in and sat in the living room and talked and played with the babies. The babies. I love babies. And if my uh, niece gives me permission, I'll uh, post pictures of them sometime soon. But until she does. Tough stuff. You don't get to see my babies. <coughs> and they're super cute, too. But anyway, it was fun because we all sat around, we all talked, we all cut up, we all had a good time, had a great time, and it was a uh, communication of sorts. No, it wasn't, you know, long, drawn-out philosophical communication or anything like that, but it was communication, family, being together, talking, having a good time. Food was good, good conversation togetherness i mean it was awesome and the only money that we had to spend is the money to buy the food which we would have had to buy anyway to have something to eat so but pardon but i do think it's getting out of hand the prices of some stuff i mean i know prices go up every year but it seems like with covid they decided to just go <laughs> way up and you know, shoot people. We already don't have no money because of COVID. Now you're going to shoot up prices on everything so we can't buy nothing, even with the little bit that we do got? That's just for decorous. But that's what happens <clears throat> sometimes. Excuse me. 
and that's just, you know, that's kind of the reason why I wanted to start this podcast, because I had been saying for a long time, I wanted to do something. I want to do a podcast. I really want to do a podcast. I really want to do a podcast. And I was spending so much time trying to think, well, what could I do it about? Well, you know, I, would anybody like, well, did that? And I decided this year, to heck with it. I'm just going to do it. Just going to jump in and do it. Anybody likes it, fan freaking tastic. Anybody don't, I ain't no worse off. Just got a bunch of videos out there with me being silly. And that's nothing new. People that know me know I'm crazy. So, you know. But, um, yeah. That's what I want to encourage people to do is just start conversations. You know, they don't have to be deep conversations. Just start talking to people more. More and more, it seems like people are, even little kids are into phones and, and texting and watching stuff on YouTube. And, you know, and I'm not saying anything is wrong with any of that. I'm not saying anybody's wrong for watching TV too much. Because guess what? I'm in that same category. I put myself right in there with you. I do the same thing. I'm videoing this right now on my phone. So, you know. And I'm going to post it to YouTube. So, you know. Okay? So... I don't think I'm above anybody. And I would hope that anybody that wants to be a part of this, that wants to uh, get on here and discuss things and what have you, that they don't think they're above anybody either. Because that's not what I'm about. That's not what this this podcast is about. It's not about being better than anybody or being smarter than anybody or being, you know heard more than anybody it's just being heard and i think that's another thing that's a big problem in the world nowadays is people don't feel like they're heard anymore they don't you know they they talk or they have something to say but they don't feel like anybody is really listening to them like anybody's paying attention and the head doo doo heads that do that the most that i have mm, that i realized not you know, just last couple of years or whatever, is politicians. They do not listen very well to their constituents. And that would be us. Okay? And I'm not, I'm not going to get into the politics discussion because I, I don't want to get on that soapbox because they came after me with the white coats last time I did that. So, you know, um, it's just it's hard, you know, it's hard. This world is hard. This, the living with a stupid COVID. <clears throat> I see you COVID. I'll cut you. Um, but COVID and then all the things that have gone topsy turvy in the world the last few years. I mean, it's just. Bleh. Some days it's like, why do I even want to get out of bed? Why? Why not I just lay here? Just forget it. You know? What's the point in getting up? There's going to be something depressing happen. I'm already depressed. I already take medication. See? <laughs> take medication for depression. So, you know. That's another thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> me in my throat, I swear. If, um... If anybody's out there that is suffering from depression or anxiety or anything like that, feel free to hop on here and, and you know, just say, hey, you know, I'm feeling a certain kind of way or whatever. It, it, talk about it. Talk about it. I'm here to listen. You know, I'm not going to judge anybody. I'm the same way, you know. I just happen to be one of the people that, um, <clears throat> one of the people that when things were getting bad, I went to my doctor and said, hey, this something ain't right here. And uh, I was diagnosed with depression, and he prescribed me some medication to take to help me with that. 
And if it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't be as happy or as normal. I don't like that word. Different. Okay. No, I, I probably wouldn't be as good as I am right now. I'm extra good right now because you know what? I went to physical therapy just a while ago. Just got done working my butt out. And I actually rocked it out in physical therapy today. I did something I hadn't been able to do before. And it was a breeze. And I was like, yes, I'm doing it. I've actually lost 10 pounds also. Uh, I don't know if it's because I just haven't felt good and haven't felt like eating. Or, you know, due to COVID or whatever. I don't recommend a COVID diet. Mm -mm. Most people, when they have COVID, they've said that they've gained weight because they're stuck inside and they, you know, but I guess for, it depends on what weight you are to begin with. If you're a heavy person, you don't feel like eating and, you know, that's one of the things you enjoy doing is eating. And so you don't feel like doing anything enjoyable when you're sick. And so you don't eat. I don't know. That's just my theory. <clears throat> Excuse me a second, y'all. front of that was looking gnarly. I'm going to have to clean this real good. I mean, you probably can't see it. But I can see it. The sun shining on it. And it's like, what the what? But. You know, find fun things to do. And like I said, if you have a problem like that, don't, don't feel bad. You are not the only one out there in the world. You are not. I'm here with you. I'm here with you. And I know that, you know, I've had people say to me before, you know, well, just get over it. <laughs> okay, thanks. If I could do that, I wouldn't be uh, depressed. I wouldn't be having to take medication for depression. You know, if it was like a switch that I could just flip, uh, I wouldn't need that. But, yeah, depression is real. Anxiety is real. It's not something where you can just go flip, you know, and you're done. No. If it was, then wouldn't nobody have a problem with it. Am I right? Am I wrong? Let me know. But yeah, I, I don't know how it got off on depression, but we did, didn't we? But that's a conversation. That's a conversation too, you know. That's communication right there. If you don't communicate how you're feeling... To somebody, anybody, a friend, uh, a pastor, a doctor. Hold on. It's freezing up on me again. Let me see if this helps. A friend, a pastor, a doctor. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn on the heater. Not the air conditioner, the heater. Do that here. Deer dagger, deer dagger. There we go. That might help. Sometimes I know if, you, if your phone gets too cold, it, it'll start lagging or whatever. But, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll try this. Oh, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. If you have a problem, communicate. 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 You know, I know sometimes you might think that talking about it doesn't help. Or it makes it worse. It depends on who you're talking about it with. I think so. That's my theory. You know, if it helps to talk about, some, talk about it to somebody that has it also, like myself, hey... Hit me up. Hit Talk Emporium up. If you don't want to post it out there for everybody else to hear, hey, just say that. I, I don't want anybody else to know about this, but this is what's going on with me. But just private. For Robin. That's what you can do. You can just start it out. For Robin. And I'll know. 
you don't want nobody else to, to know about it. And that's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind. You know, if you're having a bad day and you just need somebody to talk to, somebody that's going through, you know, or that's been through some of the same things or that just understands, you know, yeah, hit me up. Hit me up. Like I said, the email is talkemporium22 at gmail.com. And if you use the email, just put on there, like I said at the top, for Robin. And then whatever it is you need to say. And I don't know, you don't want anybody else to hear it, don't want anybody else to see it, and I won't let anybody else see it. I promise. Um, or if you don't want to do the email, you can, like I said, post me a comment or anything like that, but the only thing is with comments, other people might see them, but, you know, mm. or you can post on there for Robin, and then, um, I'll see it, and I'll, uh, follow your link to find you. And then that way nobody else will see it. That's the way we can do that. That way you can have a private conversation. It's a conversation too, isn't it? Excuse me. There's something all over my... Mm. But yeah, you know, just talk about it. You don't want to talk about it with me? That's 100% that's fine. Talk about it with somebody. Tell somebody how you're feeling, you know, that you, that you're depressed or that you have anxiety about something or, you know, if they laugh at you, tell me, tell me their names. I will come and I will break my foot off in them. I will do it. I don't care. I don't care. You know, like I said, now that I've been diagnosed with it and what have you, and I'm on medication with it, well, not now, but I mean, I was diagnosed in 2017, and I've been on uh, medication for it. Um, now it's a little bit easier for me to talk about it. But I understand how you feel, because, you know, before you're diagnosed, before you have medication, or before you talk to anybody about it formally, you know, you just feel like well, you know, they, they just think I'm, you know, whiny wuss or whatever. Or, there are people that are going to do that. There are some haters. No, that's okay. It's okay. They don't got to like us. They don't got to be mean to us either. Right? Everybody is entitled to be able to speak their mind. Freedom of speech, right? Come on, y'all. But that's what Talking Forum is about. People just talking to each other. Not putting each other down, not breaking each other down, you know. Just talking. Just having a conversation. Building the lines of communication. Maybe repairing a couple. Maybe that's what's going on with you. I don't know. Excuse me, my nose is just. But with Talk Emporium, my podcast here that I'm doing, I do have, we have a, like I said, a YouTube page, Talk Emporium, a page, channel, YouTube channel, Talk Emporium. There's a blog called Top and Forian, uh, where some of the stuff is posted there. There, of course, I have a Facebook group page, Top and Forian. And then, like I said, I'm posting stuff everywhere I can post. Excuse me. So we can get conversations going everywhere. 
I like to teach the world to conversate. I don't need to teach y'all how to conversate. You know how to do it. You know how to do it. You just ain't doing it sometimes. Some people just won't talk to anybody about anything. You don't want to talk? Okay. You don't have to. You want to just go here and watch this train wreck? Go ahead. Go ahead. If I brighten your day by watching me be, be crazy and silly and all that, it's worth it. It's worth it. I'm trying to find a good angle to hold this where it won't get too cold, but also where it won't get too hot and where it will look a little bit better for you because I know my ugly mug doesn't help. That's a little bit better. My nose is itching. Oh my goodness. I swear, every time I go to make a video of any kind, it's my nose itching, coughing, my mouth's dry, something or other, or all of it. Mm. I just can't take it. Sometimes. I'm kidding. Uh, I'm also working on a website for Top Emporium. I'm doing everything this year. I decided I'd pull the plug, I'm going to just do everything. The website, I'm going to try to get it streamlined where everything's just on the website. You just got like one place to go. But until I get that up and running, it's kind of all these other places. Uh, the, the blog is on Blogger. I don't know if anybody uses that or not. It's Google, a Google product. Goodness gracious, my nose. Oh, for real. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Um, yeah, if you go to blogger.com and just search uh, Talk Emporium, you should be able to find it. If not, I'll have links to it. Um, I think I have links to it on the YouTube channel. And I'll have links to it, if I'm not mistaken, I have links to it on the uh, Facebook uh, group page as well. To so that, to the YouTube, and everything else. But YouTube, you should be able to find it under Talk Emporium. And you'll see this. So, you know, you will know you're there. When you see this ugly mug, that's attractive right there, isn't it? When you see this ugly mug, then you'll know you are there. Yeah. I wear these to read. That's supposed to be all I wear them for. Because I am I have nearsightedness. So I can see real good up close, but like distances I can't 